Hey, what's up everybody? It's been a minute since I dropped a video, but I've been busy. What I've been busy doing is catching up on The Expanse. So The Expanse is a show that I've had a lot of people recommend to me over the course of the past couple years. Uh, I didn't really find time to really dedicate a substantial amount of time to it. Um, I started it probably, I don't know, it had to have been maybe like a couple years ago. Um, I started it. I started season one. St season one got off to a slow start. It aired on sci-fi. Um, it and it had all of these symptoms of a sci-fi show. Um, it it just wasn't very good. So I, I I it was difficult for me to stay with it. But I decided, you know, I want to make sure that I give this show a fair chance. I'd heard so many good things about it, and I mean, like, I mean, people were putting it on their top ten of 2020 list without even having seen it yet, the new season. So. I really pushed to get caught up. So I want to give my thoughts on uh, season one through four uh, very briefly, just overall as a show, essentially. And then um, I'll record a separate video talking about my giving my thoughts on the first four episodes of season five. So um, let me start with my immediate thoughts on The Expanse. Uh, I guess I'll start with the things that I don't like. Um, I, I don't think that this is like one of the best shows on television or anything like I, I don't. I don't think it's as good as everyone else says it is, put it, putting it that way. Um, but that's because a lot of people set the bar really high. Um, I thought, you know, you know, hey, just give me a cool sci-fi show and we're good. But um, people are like, making like, this is the best thing on television, so uh, be ready to have your, your, your socks knocked off. And, and, you know, I'm watching season one, and I'm like, this is actually kind of bad. <laughs> like, this is very good. But um, uh, I, I, I think that one of the things that... that frustrates me about the show it frustrates even frust, frustrates even a strong road word um one of the things that uh i guess one, one of the knocks that i would have against it is that i feel like they are uh writing this proto molecule thing really really hard I, i'm sick of this proto molecule i'm ready for them to <laughs> find some other sort of danger within the solar system it's like man it's a whole whole solar system all these universes y'all now got something to connect you to different planets and different star systems and shit and we still fucking around this goddamn proto molecule <laughs> like come on man give me something new even at, uh, a brief kind of like spoiler even at the start of season five they start talking about the proto molecule and someone goes uh i think i think it's holding goes here we go again i'm like my thoughts exactly here we go again with the fucking proto molecule but um they 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 do too much with the proto molecule i, I kind of feel like and when I say do too much, I actually mean the opposite. They do not enough. Um, the proto molecule is is almost like the central villain of the entire series, at least to date. And um, what I don't like is that the proto molecule is not clearly defined. And when it comes to sci fi, everything doesn't need to be perfectly explainable and make perfect sense. But like, I'd like to have some idea of what I'm dealing with here. <laughs> and the proto molecule seems to have a limitless amount of abilities. Um, it can do a limitless number of things. It seems virtually indestructible. Uh, and, and it's, it's what it is, is not even really clearly defined. So to have something, to have an enemy that is seemingly unbeatable, that can do anything is not interesting to me. So like, I don't like the fact that the proto molecule is like the primary antagonist of this series for the most part. Um, and that's really kind of my biggest issue with the show. Um, overall, one of the, now I guess I'm moving to stuff that I like. Actually, no, I have one more, one more criticism. Um, I feel like after four seasons, we should have gotten into the past of these characters a little bit more. It's a very tight core crew. You got your four, uh, members of the Rasanati and we, and, and this is the team. This is the, the, the main cast of the show. We don't know shit about what they were doing before they got on the Rossi. Um, we get maybe like a couple of throwaway lines throughout the course of an entire season where we might learn something. So like take Amos, for instance. Amos is my favorite character on the show. Probably everyone else's too, if you got any sense. Um, and uh, it seems like every season there's maybe like a sentence, maybe two, where Amos says something that gives you an idea of what his past life was like. And I'm like, entering season five, I don't know shit about Amos. And I, I feel like they should have been giving us a little bit of backstory on these characters throughout the course of each season. Um, another thing I didn't like is that in season three, 
midway through season three, it sharply changed course. I mean, there's a like a six month time jump or some shit. Everything's changed. Um, they introduced new characters. Although it felt like an entirely new season, and this came like midway through uh, the season, which was kind of off putting to me because you on the back half of a season, I feel like that's where you want to ramp up your attention and drama to build up toward a finale. Whereas like in the back half of the third season, it felt like the start of a fourth season. So it's like, you can't really expect me to have stakes, you know, I mean, have, have, have like, um, emotional stakes for these, all these, all these new characters who I don't know who they are. So, um, I thought that was like a structural flaw in the show midway through season three, but I'll kind of chalk that up to sci-fi being sci-fi. Cause uh, I think it moved, it moved to Amazon with season four. So, um, and that's really kind of the end of my criticisms. What I do like about this show, and actually what I really like, is that it takes a lot of the best aspects of Game of Thrones and, and applies it to space. <laughs> um, uh, the political intrigue and the political back and forth, the the the, the conflict between Mars, uh, Earth, and the, the belt is the most interesting aspect of the show to me. Um, I thought that they they've they made that stuff incredibly compelling. The space stuff is incredibly compelling. Um, I, I like the fact that there's a rich history within this show and there's a lot of, uh, a lot of characters, uh, sets, set, sets, settings, I should say, settings, ships, things like that for you to learn and get used to. And that gives me that Game of Thrones feel because Game of Thrones comes at you with like so many different characters and, and names and houses and locations and ships and all these sorts of things. It's tough to remember, but one of the fun things about Game of Thrones is doing that side research learning these names, learning where these people are from, learning where they're going, learning where these locations are relative to one another. If someone goes, let's head east. And I, I can go, I can visualize a map of Westeros in my head and go, okay, they could be going here, here, or here. Um, and The Expanse has a lot of that too. So um, I look forward to um, giving it a second watch. Um, I feel like it will be incredibly rewarding on a second watch when I'm not trying to kind of like speed through it to get caught up. Um, I want to read the books. I want to do some side research because there's so much that goes on in this show that I feel like can be easily lost. And I'm sure that I lost a lot of it. So um, I want to really, really get into that. Um, so I like that this rich uh, world building that potential that there is. I really like that. Um, hmm. There was one other thing. Oh, um, as far as the, the characters go, I thought that they did a good job of, even though I offered the criticism earlier of the fact that they don't build out these characters' backstories enough, I like the fact that they built this team. And we've seen this team grow individually and amongst each other. So now you have a a cast of characters that you care about. Um, they've done a really good job with that. Like you've seen Holden grow, you've seen Amos grow, um, you've seen Naomi grow, you've seen Alex grow, you've seen them grow as a team. So lots of good stuff there that I really enjoy. Um, and another thing, another ac actually aspect that's similar to Game of Thrones is that um, they 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 have they put characters in groups. So like you might have a character who's like um, who's on like a quest with these two other characters on the show, and then you have these other four characters together, and then you have these other five characters together, and then like you you hit storyline after hit storyline after storyline. So like okay, let's check in on this group. Let's check in on this group. Let's check in on this group. And like that again reminds me of Game of Thrones, and that's fun. And then you get to see like you get, get to wait for those re, uh, those reunions. You get to wait for uh, maybe like groups to mix up. Like okay, uh, so and so was kicked it with so and so for a few episodes, and now they're gonna be with so and so. Like you know that kind of stuff. Um, I thought Thomas Jane was great on the show. Is great on the show, I should say. Um, so lots of good stuff from him. Uh, so yeah, a lot to really enjoy. I really enjoy the show. I think it probably is one of the better uh, sci-fi shows on television. Um, I thought Raised by Wolves was really, really good. So um, it has some competition in that category, but it's really just those two shows. So um, really enjoying The Expanse. Um, season five looks like it's going to be really good. So I'm going to record another video talking about the first five, four episodes, I'm sorry, of season five. And then I'll come back week by week talking about each episode. So um, that's it for now. See you guys soon. Peace.